where I learn more about Jesus. Catch, catch up, my faith grows with catch, catch up, where I learn more about Jesus. Catch, catch up, my faith grows with catch up. It's fun, it's exciting, it's fantastic! <laughs> It's me, Moses, the family cat. Don't mind me, I'm just doing my exercise for the day. I'm sure glad you could join us for today's show. We're going to learn about something that is very important. Prayer. Yep, I could sure learn a thing or two about that. Shh, I think I hear someone coming. Bye for now, and hey, enjoy the show. Hey, Moses, I'm glad I found you. Guess what? Wow, are you doing exercise, Moses? Look at that. I'm impressed, Moses. Wow, keeping fit, very important. Moses, I know you're busy, but we need to get back to the studio. The kids are waiting for us to start today's show, which is gonna be all about prayer. We're gonna learn how to pray, why we pray, where to pray, and lots of other cool stuff about prayer. So let's go, Moses. What if I looked at my life? What am I doing? What if I changed my silly ways? What was I thinking? What if I put myself third? God first, your second. What if I lived my life? For G-O-D. What if I gave my stuff away? For joy in giving. What if I gave up candy for Lance? I can make a sacrifice. What if I lived my life? For G.O.D. He died for me. G.O.D. He cares for me. simply talking to God. It's telling Him why you're sad, why you're mad, or why you're happy. 
It's also telling God you're sorry when you sin, praising Him for His greatness, thanking Him for your blessings, and asking Him to help you and others. To sum it up, prayer is telling God whatever's in your heart. There's no prayer too big or too small for God. Will God speak to me? Of course. God speaks in many ways. He speaks to you through the Bible stories you read. He can speak to you through your parents and friends. And He can even speak right to your heart. If we have quiet times with no games, TV, or computers, Jesus will begin to speak to our hearts. But we need to practice listening to Jesus. That's right. Prayer is both talking and listening to Jesus. The more we give ourselves to Jesus in prayer, the more He will renew our lives. Hey kids, nice to see you again. I just got back from jogging two miles and boy do I feel refreshed. Exercise makes me feel so good. I even said a prayer while I was jogging. You know, talking to God is so cool. Oh, I gotta go. I hear someone coming. Well, see you later. Hey, Moses. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Give me five. Awesome. Moses, looks like you were out doing some exercise. Well, you know what? That's great, Moses. Exercise is so important. It keeps our bodies feeling good and healthy. And Moses, we also need to exercise our soul, you know, to keep our spiritual lives nice and healthy. Keeping our souls healthy is even more important than keeping our bodies healthy. One day our earthly bodies will turn to dust, but our souls will live forever. Just like water keeps trees and flowers looking nice and pretty, prayer keeps us strong and healthy in our faith. You see this dried up branch? Well, when it was removed from the rest of the tree, it was no longer able to survive on its own. It needed the rest of the tree to keep it alive and to feed it water. If we don't remain connected to Jesus in prayer, our souls will be like this branch, lifeless, dry, and good for nothing. Jesus said in John chapter 15, I am the vine and you are the branches. If you do not remain in me, you're like a branch that withers and dies. My life should stay connected to Jesus through prayer. That's for sure. Jesus loves us so much that he wants what's best for us. When we stay connected to Jesus in prayer, it will change our hearts. It will change our lives, our communities, and even our world. So let us make time to pray so that we can make a difference. Now here's a song that will help you to pray. It's the Catch That Way to Pray. change my heart, it will change the world. Come Lord Jesus, teach me prayer, will change my heart, it will change the world. Come Lord Jesus, teach me to pray. C is for call on the name of Jesus. A is for accept him into your heart. T is for thank him for his blessings catch at a way to pray each day prayer will change my heart it will change the world come Lord Jesus teach me prayer will change my heart it will change the world come Lord Jesus teach me to pray C is for cast your cares on Jesus. H is for hear him speak to you. A is for ask him to heal the hurting. T is for take him into your day. C A T C H A T. C A T C H A T. Catch 
Are Dominic and Jerome having fun with their Chinese yo-yos? Good job, guys! You notice how they're keeping their eyes on the yo-yo at all times. If they get distracted, they will mess up, right? Well, prayer is like that. We need to be focused on Jesus when we pray, not on our favorite chocolate bar or on our favorite game or TV show. When we pray, we must fix our eyes on Jesus. Hey, cool! Neat tricks, guys! Keep it going! Well, prayer is not always about ourselves. We need to pray for the needs of others. Maybe it's a family member, a friend, a cousin, an uncle, or an aunt who needs prayer. How about kids who are sick in the hospital? Or how about our parish priests and bishops and for the Pope's intentions? The list could go on and on. So when you're praying, it's important that you pray for others and not just for yourself. Hey, great job, guys! Oh, hi there. So far, we've learned some pretty cool things about prayer. Now, I want to share with you something that is very important. Prayer is one of the most important tools that will help you become the best person you can be. That's right. Prayer will help you become a saint. How? Well, prayer will change you. It will make you more like Christ. Change. We all need to change from our ways to God's ways. Make me contagious with the presence of Christ. May it spread to the nations and touch the heart of all people. Jesus, make me like you.
it's me, Moses. Boy, am I ever tired. Sometimes exercise is so hard to do. Wow, it's not easy staying fit and healthy. But hey, I just remembered a Bible verse. It's, um, oh yeah, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yeah, that's the one. Wow, you know, I, I feel better already. Yikes, I think I hear someone coming. Hey, Moses. Wow. Hey, Moses. Nice exercise suit you got on there, Moses. I'll tell you what, since you're ready to do some exercise, why don't you try out this trampoline? You want to try it, Moses? You don't. Come on, Moses. You can do it. Come here, Moses. We'll help you. Let's cheer him on. Moses. 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 That, oh, that's it. Hey, good Woo. job, Moses. Keep going. Keep going. Hey, very good. Hey, look, Moses, you got a partner here to come hop with you. It's Jerome. Good job. Hey. Look at him, Bob. Nice work, Jerome. Hey, guys, I think this is a good time to do some exercise together. I'll grab my guitar, all right? Let's do some exercise. All right. Let's see here. All right, I'll put my guitar on. Now it goes like this. Here we go. Everybody clap your hands for Jesus. Everybody clap. Reach up high, reach up high. And then touch your toes. Very good. Reach up high, way up high, then touch your toes. Awesome. Reach up high, way up high, then touch your toes. Awesome. Reach up high, then touch your little nose. Very good, everybody. Guess what time it is? It is time for the Cat Chat Question Box. Yeah. Yeah. The question Box. Can't wait to find out what's in the question box. Can't wait to pull it out of the question box. So let's find out what's in the question box. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, here it is. How many push-ups can Moses the cat do? I want to see this, Moses. How many push-ups can you actually do? All right, Moses, let's see here. Let's, let's get you down there. All right, I'm gonna count. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, th three. Oh, Moses, that's pretty good. You did two and a half push-ups. All right, Moses, that's pretty impressive, Moses. I bet you by the end of the week, you can do maybe 12. All right, how about we move on to the next question? All right, here it comes. Here it comes. There it is. <laughs> All right. Hmm. How do I know what God wants me to do when I'm older? That's a great question. Well, we begin with our prayers. We pray every day asking our Lord to guide us and to guide you and show you what his plan and purpose is for your life. Also, ask the advice and for the prayers of your parents and your parish priest. God will hear all of your prayers and he will slowly prepare you for his perfect plan for your life. All right, repeat after me. Lord, show me your plan. Lord, show me your plan. And your purpose and your purpose for my life for my life amen well everybody that's the end of our cat chat question box jesus is the light of the world so let's get plugged into him so that we can be a light to others how can you be a light by listening to others and not interrupting while they're telling a story I could buy a treat for someone who seems lonely at school. By letting my younger brother use my iPod. Cutting my neighbor's grass without getting paid. By being joyful even if I'm having a bad day. By using positive words when I speak. Super Saints, so much to learn from the Super Saints. 
always there to help us. Super Saint, let's follow the heroes. Super Saint. Today's Super Saint is Saint Therese of Lisieux. Saint Therese was a young girl who really worked hard to keep her heart and mind pure for Jesus. She was only 15 years old when she became a Carmelite nun. Every little thing she did, she did for the love of God. Even the little things, like scrubbing floors, cooking, cleaning, and sewing. She said her sacrifices were like flowers of love for Jesus. She always used kind words and try not to complain. St. Therese of Lisieux is sometimes called the little flower of Jesus and Therese of the child Jesus. She became a saint in 1925, and in 1997, Pope John Paul II declared her a doctor of the church. Every year, over two million people visit the Basilica of St. Therese in Lisieux, France. Do not be afraid to ask the saints to pray for you. They are cheering you on from heaven and want you to grow in your faith. St. Therese, pray, pray for us. us. Well, hi there. Did you know that Jesus taught us how to pray with the Our Father? It's a very powerful prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. There are so many beautiful Catholic prayers that we can learn to help us grow in our faith. Take the Our Father prayer you just prayed, for example. If we truly take the time to think of the words we're saying in this prayer and let them sink into our hearts, they become powerful and life-giving. We must always remember to pray with our hearts and not only with our lips. It's not about saying our prayers, it's about praying our prayers. There has to be meaning to the words we are speaking. It's kind of like nailing a letter to a friend. When she receives it and then opens the envelope and finds it empty, she says, what's this? An empty envelope with no letter? That's what praying with our lips and not our hearts is like. But if we send a beautiful letter to a friend and when he opens it and he finds a beautiful letter inside, with some encouraging words, that is what praying from the heart is. There is meaning and love in the words you are praying. Now it's time for the Cat Chat Challenge. Now it's time for the Cat Chat Challenge. Are you ready? That's right kids, it's time for the Cat Chat Challenge. Today's challenge is this. We are challenging you to make a prayer spot somewhere in your house where you can spend at least five minutes 
or more every day in quiet prayer with Jesus, Mary, and the saints. Now, this here is Jerome's prayer spot. Pretty cool, eh? Now over here we got Luke's prayer spot. This one here is Rayanne's prayer spot. And that one is Dominic's. If you make a prayer spot and spend time there, God will come and meet you every time. Remember, prayer will help you discover God's plan for your life. If you go to our website at catchat.ca, you can send Moses a message or even a photo of your personal prayer spot and tell him how well you did on your Cat Chat Challenge. Well, everybody, we've had a lot of fun here today. Thank you for watching, and until next time, may God bless you. See, See you later. later. Yippee! Hey, kids, I thought I would try a new exercise, rollerblading. This is so much fun. Wow. Well, thanks for watching. And boy, did I ever learn a lot about prayer. What a gift that God has given us. Well, you guys are great. Until next time, God bless you, my friends. And remember that God has a plan for you. See you next time on Cat Chat. Yippee!